Welcome to River City Live. Here we are at Unity Plaza. Just the four of us today. I say just the four of us. Usually, usually it's either two or four. Yesterday, though, we had a whole mess of people here trying out for Oh Say Can You Sing. And that was a lot of fun because we got to see a lot of great talent. So thanks for coming down if you did. Really, really loved it. Yeah, what I loved about it, too, again, all over Jacksonville and the age range. Mm -hmm. Nine, I think, was the youngest, uh -huh. all the way up to 79. So much talent out there. It was such a good time. We started our coverage at 8 o'clock. Went all the way to seven. We were here most of the day. Just overall, a lot of fun. It was exciting. I'd like to make the comment to Bl Mr. Blake Bortles, who made a comment about Mark and my <laughs> singing. Um, I, I think we were pretty good. <laughs> it might have been ours. No. Well, whoever. We do good things here on River City Live. Don't hate. <laughs> so yesterday, when there was a little satellite feed, we're just giving an update on the morning show. Blake was in the audience and. He's like, that is horrible. So he, made, <laughs> he made a comment. And oh, wait, I, that was you guys. That was it, it might have been. It might have been. <laughs> it brought it to Because I think my ours, ours was really good. Yeah. I think we harmonized. Oh, so what are you saying about ours? We have to work on ours. We really do. <laughs> I think man. you need to work on yours. <laughs> That's fair. Please, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's also fair. Okay. It's going to be quiet. <laughs> now about a 25 year old man who should be so proud of himself i know his parents are very proud he has set the guinness world record for the longest tv binge watching oh wow he sat around and watched for hours and hours and hours pulling this off how 94 hours oh my what? that's, that's almost four days right yeah so he said it was <laughs> exhausting exhausting <laughs> He watched Battlestar Galactica, Twilight Zone, Bob's Burgers. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. He did watch Game of Thrones, of course. Uh, and this was all sponsored by a software company called Cyberlink. So today on the 99.9 Gator Country Facebook page, we asked folks what they binge watched. Game of Thrones was up there quite a bit. One lady said designing women. <laughs> <laughs> now that's funny. That's funny. I love that. So, I mean, then she said, don't judge. So, I, you know, but that's what's great about it. I'm excited. Kimmy Schmidt is coming yes. back on. Just I do love that show. That. Yeah. Elizabeth, what do you binge watch? I don't really binge watch. I'm, I'm bad about it, but I... I did binge watch uh, Making a Murder. That had me hooked. Oh, yeah, you guys are crazy on yeah. that. Yeah. That's yeah. you guys were talking about for like a week. Oh, yeah. I that I flamed out on episode down. eight. So. <laughs> <laughs> And do you have time to binge watch? You no, know, I don't. Kids? I really don't binge watch a particular show, but on the weekends, that's when I have the most time. So Friday night and Saturday night, I'm watching everything. That's when mm. I catch up with everything. Ah. But what about you guys? Anything? Uh, you watch anything particular? I am a big Daredevil fan, so okay. I haven't been able to catch up with the second season because I'm waiting for that special time when it's just me because nobody in the house else in the house watches. Right. But you know, good three hours to myself. <laughs> and you uh, have no time. Hours. Oh, I, I do, though. I, I find time. Hey, hey, guys, talk amongst yourself. I'm going to see if Stuart can come help me out because my microphone is not working. Oh, oh okay. Actually, it's working perfectly. I don't think I clipped it. Maybe that was my design. I don't even know where you put it. By design, because you're making fun of me for not singing. I'm like, oh yeah, watch this. I'm like, wait, can we take your mic off? I had a roommate in college that could binge watch. He didn't even binge watch, but we'd be like, Mark, we went to class. What have you been doing? I don't know. <laughs> and it's a different Mark. Not, not, not this Mark. Mark. No, no, no. But low energy, oh, high well, energy. That's better. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So there's a lot of talk about Facebook and their new Messenger bot app. And this is really neat. They, as a company, decided that what people hate is talking with companies. So person-to-company mm -hmm. -company interaction, they wanted to make it smoother. So what they decided to do is line you up through the Messenger app. And right here we have a little demo. There's 30 companies that are signed up and are working with this. So we have Fandango in there now. And you put in the name through the Messenger. Go ahead. So when you click on that, it's going to line up Stuart because he's logged on with Fandango, and it'll be prompt to ask questions. So we'll kind of take him through different nice. Q-type questions to figure out what is it that he needs. So it's a way to streamline communication and just make it more efficient for the end user. Other companies that are doing this are um, Bank of America, Burger King, 1-800-Flowers. We tried that out today, and that was pretty neat because it asked right away, where do you live? You got your zip code, and then it was lining up with what type of order you need. There's Expedia up there now. So again, the whole idea is just to streamline communication. That's cool. Yeah. Well, while we're on technology, I want to show you this. This is Walt Disney World and their solar panels. They have teamed up with Duke Energy and you're not going to believe this. Those are solar panels. There are 48,000 of them because think about all the power. They're, they're not just powering up things in, in the theme park at Epcot, but they've got some of their hotels have plans to run on solar power. 
And, of course, you know, they're going to do this in the shape of <laughs> Disney ears. But it's just amazing. It's absolutely the wave of the future for at least Disney. I love this, though. This, um, this article we read said, officials with Disney World, Duke Energy, and Disney's private government. <laughs> They're like the Vatican, their own, their they own really little are. entity. Do they have their own zip code? Disney? They, oh, they, they might. Oh. They might. Now, that is, it's on 22 acres right by Epcot. And it's funny because Epcot is supposed to be futuristic. If you guys yeah. ever been there? And it's like 1985. Oh, yeah. <laughs> their technology. When you walk around, like, that's what you feel. You're like, like what happened? Like, we're a lot farther than you would think this park would be. Because it, it stands for that, right? Like, experimental prototype community of tomorrow. Whoa. Oh, look at you. Uh -huh. It just costs us I lived our sponsorship. Oh, town for a while. So we run that out. Four little boys will do to you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I bet, I've been to Epcot a lot. But yeah, so it's, it stopped in 1985. So I'm glad they have solar power. Mm -hmm. So yeah. from yeah. Mickey Mouse to Super Dad, there is a dad out there that he's selling his 5,000 comic books in order to put his daughter through Whoa. college. Yeah, so his name is Al Sanders. He's 53 years old. Now, get this throughout his career of collecting comic books, he actually sold his blood plasma to get like 25 or $30 to put towards that. Uh -huh. So really, there's blood, sweat, and tears in this story. Oh, but it's for a good awesome. cause. And basically, you know, what he was saying when he was interviewed is, you got to do what you got to do. When it's time to send off your kids to college, you got to figure out where is your money. And it turns out he's got a little bit of money stashed away in those comic books. He's going to take them to a local Comic Con and see what he could do with them. And wow. That's some money. pretty that's cool. That's really cool. Yeah, so that's, Super Dad. That's a sweet story. I mean, oh, yeah. there, are, there are two sides to every story on whether or not, you know, he needed to to do all that or go the financial aid route or whatever, but I think it will mean more down the road, don't you? All right, so this is causing a stir, especially in Florida. Do you know that now it can be 73% more expensive to pay for child daycare as toddlers wow. than college? I believe it. Jeez. Do you? And Elizabeth, you need to be, take note of this, because whenever you did, do get to that route, <laughs> it's like $800 a month just for one kid. Look at this, okay, Florida has the largest disparity between the college and the daycare. 73% more expensive for daycare. The costs can be up to 7,600 plus a year, and then tuitions for college about 4,400 per year. What college is that? That is, that is yeah. not. <laughs> well, like, and then we were, you know, the, the survey asked people what they pay weekly and monthly. So here's monthly. Um, some 34% said they pay nothing, 19% said between one and five hundred dollars, and 25% five to eight hundred a month. Up to a thousand a month, fifteen, and up to what one thousand plus seven percent. That's wow. some, that's some good daycare you got. That going is, there, that's yeah? some wow. good daycare. My kid better be super smart coming out of that daycare, <laughs> well, right? So like after daycare, there's college. So what do you want to do? Maybe you want your kids to be good athletes. Well, good athletes are right here. The Jacksonville. Giants have yes. won. This is the third time they won the ABA National Championship. They just started in 2010, so it's such a young franchise. They won in 2012, 2013, and now 2015. And then uh, Maurice Mickens, he actually won the Ooh, yeah. ABA National Championship MVP award. And Elizabeth, you spent a lot of time with them. I did. I met Maurice was one of the ones I met. I'm pretty sure he's the point guard. And Whoa, look at that. <laughs> that is not Maurice. And no, that is not. That's two of their tallest players. And, and you're tall. Uh, yeah, I'm 5'8", but these guys, not only awesome basketball players, but awesome, <laughs> funny gentlemen. They are just, they're great. Yeah. The games are a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. A lot of fun. Represent All right, Jacksonville. so much more to come here on River City Live. Hit us up on social media as always. That's where you find us, River City Live TV. We'll be back.